lived on Heaton Gardens and had a bus very busy main road. I've got cats and a toddler, so the busy main road was very noisy as well. We'd often wake up at night with the trucks going past and stuff like that. I wasn't very happy to be there anymore. Then the landlord decided to sell, so I was asked, I was given an eviction notice. The flat we're living in was pretty dire. Um, it was just problems uh, up every yeah. other day. We'd phone the landlords and they'd do nothing about it. So we were on the council waiting list, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, on for a while, um, actually. And they were doing the best that they could, really, but Hayley Diamond Steel got in touch with her personally and she was an absolute star. Just helped her every step of the way, didn't she? Yeah. And then she gave her a call and says, we've got some brand new houses coming off. Um, would you be interested? And of course we were like, Definitely. yeah. <laughs> well, does, yeah. <laughs> House of Interest shares our values. It shares our aims. Um, it's it's local, locally based. Uh, it focuses on the local demand. Um, it has the flexibility to build, buy, convert in a way that we simply haven't got uh, as a council. Certainly not on the scale. We can ensure that the quality of the housing uh, we offer is of the highest standard. Went down to the council housing. I'd never been through council before, um, and got some really great help. And this house came up brand new. It took three weeks. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I got offered a brand new property within three weeks. I didn't know where I was going to end up only having a month. To be honest, personally, I thought it was going to be smaller. <laughs> and then when we got shown around, yeah, I, could, I couldn't believe really. it. Burst into tears. <laughs> Started planning her yeah. room straight away. And then just couldn't, couldn't believe that the area was just so lovely. We want to provide housing, which is ready for the over 55s, but because as people get older, of course, their needs change. So we're building houses where wheelchair access is already in. Electrically, they're wired so that um, we can provide telecare when the need arises, so that we're not having to say, oh, sorry, this house isn't ready, you know, you need to move somewhere else. We can say, all right, we can adapt this house for you, and you can see where you are. And that, of course, um, is, is a, adds another dimension. The staff are great, they're really, really helpful. There was a couple of them kept in touch, um, offering the lenders equipment if I was stuck. They were offering from storage places if I needed a fridge or a freezer that could help out with things like that. Going above and beyond really. It basically takes one visit, you walk in and they take over from there. Tell them your situation and they pick it up for you. And they kept in touch with me. And as I say, it was just round about three weeks I had a new property. Given the keys on the Friday and could move in on the Monday. It felt like home. Like, yeah. I know how corny that sounds, but... It, it felt we'd been there a lot longer than we had. Yeah, like, I can't remember living in that flat, I've just sort of blocked it out. So now we're just, when we come through the door, especially when it's just me and her and like Craig's at work, it, we feel safe. They've told us that after a year, if they're happy with us, we can start to do improvements on the home as well. I've got a few ideas that I would like to do there. Um, and I do think that'll be a little family home for me and Lexi for a few years to come. But I just love the idea of it being a cul-de-sac. The children are about the same age. Our school's literally a two minute walk. She's started our nursery now, but she'll stay there till juniors. So it's taken a lot of stress off the school and everything for us. It's like a lot more family based as well. We see a lot of um, people out and about with their kids. So it means that as she's growing up, there's going to be people for her to mingle with. A house isn't just a house. It's not just a place that people live in. A um, house is part of there's an in, part of an environment, it's part of a community, the people are part of the community. At the end of the day, it's about people. I know that if we've got a problem, there's going to be someone who will like deal with it as fast as they can for and, and help out however they can, rather than having to wait weeks, if not months. <laughs> it's just nice, it feels very homely. And to get somewhere that we've got now is great because it's a little cul-de-sac and very quiet. It's a fresh start. I just love it, it still smells new when you walk in and everything, you know, it just feels nice. And to know nobody else has been there before as well, that's how us to make what we want of it. We were looking for a family home, weren't we, and we've, that's what we've got. Yeah, finally. We're planning more now. <laughs> <laughs>